how to get your website in front of millions of people on demand. So here is the idea. The basic scope of this um, particular method is this. Instagram, right, was bought out by Facebook. Um, <clears throat> and right now, right, or I mean, it's growing daily, but uh, they've announced, you know, several months ago, this was, they're reaching close to a billion users on Instagram, monthly users, all right? So this is growing like crazy. I'm sure, you know, this is not something new to you. This is not revolutionary. Everybody heard about Instagram just like Facebook, right? If you're like, what is Instagram? Um, <laughs> then uh, uh, go to Instagram.com, you know, and check it out. So uh, from a marketing perspective, though, what we want to do is see the, the Instagram is a platform, right? Just like all these other ones we're going to talk about, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. This, these are just different platforms, right? So each one of these platforms has... Uh, certain people that rise up in their status, right? A lot of them are celebrities or a lot of them are just specialized, you know, they provide specialized uh, niche kind of a, uh, you know, they build specialized uh, groups around their brand, around their niche, around their topic, whatever it is that they're doing, right? And all we want to do simply is get together with those influencers, okay? And tap into their visitors or tap into their audience, rather, uh, and work out a deal to where they can either give us a shout out, right? Or they can post our link. In this case, it would be my link. I'll pay them some money, right? And they would post my link in their bio and then they would give me a shout out to their audience, basically redirecting their people to my link. So when their people go to my link, right, they would end up on my landing page. Now, there's a couple things I wanted to point out to you, okay? So where's my marker here? Okay, if this is... Okay, if this is an influencer here, okay, this is an influencer here, this is an influencer here, and, uh, and I'll give them, okay, and I'll give them my link, let's say this is my link, all right, and I'll say, hey, to the, let's say this influencer one, two, and three, okay, let's say this guy has uh, 10,000 followers, let's say this guy has, for simple math here, 100,000 followers, let's say this guy's got 1 million followers, right? And let's say that whatever it is that, you know, that they're talking about, it matches my offer, okay? So message to market match needs to be uh, congruent there, okay? So it, you, you need to be mindful of this kind of stuff because if, if this guy is talking about getting fit and my offer is about bicycles, it, 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 there is no match. You see what I'm saying? So <clears throat> if, if I'm selling a fitness prog a product or a fitness supplement or something that has to do with his desired uh, you know, in, with his, you know, desire, right, that he's following this account for, uh, my offer needs to be congruent with that message of that particular account. Does that make sense? I know this is not a rocket science. It's not like super, you know, uh, like over-the-top kind of stuff here. But here's what you need to understand. When I go and I reach out to this influencer here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you some resources here, you know, how to simplify all these things. Uh, there's a manual way about doing this, and there's also a more automated way about doing this, and we'll talk about it in just a second. Uh, what I want to do is I want to have what's called a tracking link, okay? A tracking link for each one of these influencers, okay? And, uh, and so hopefully in module number one, you know, we've added a bonus video there uh, talking about how to set up your custom tracking uh, link, that we use and we recommend Click Magic for this, right? And I'll provide, you know, I provided the link, I believe, in that module. You can go check it out. If you did not see that video, you definitely want to make sure that you understand this concept. Structure is going to be very, very important because if I have 100,000 people or 50,000 people coming from this guy and I've got maybe 2,000 people coming from this guy and maybe I've got 50 people coming from this guy, right? And I paid them different you know, different amounts of money depending on, you know, on their, on their traffic and, you know, on how big their reach is. I want to be able to track how many visitors specifically I've got from this guy, right? So let's say, just for hypothetical examples here, uh, let's say I paid this guy, um, I don't know, let, let's just say I paid him 500 bucks, okay? $500. And let's say for 500 bucks, again, this may or may not be the case here. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on the exact numbers. When I'm recording this to you, you know, this is a very fluid industry. This is a very fluid, uh, you know, market, right? So the numbers can change depending on the uh, uh, supply and demand, all that good stuff, right? But for simplicity numbers, hypothetical numbers here, here's what I, here's how I do my math, right? So let's say if I got, <clears throat> get my calculator, right? Very simple. And let's say if I would give him $500 and he sends traffic, okay, to my landing page. See what I'm saying? To my landing page. 
This is where I build my list, okay? This is my headline here, okay? And so this, this is kind of the diagram, okay? And then whatever I'm promoting kind of goes here, right? So simple stuff, we talked about it. So if I get, let's say from a million, you know, followers here, um, let's say I've got uh, 10,000, okay? I've got 10,000 visitors to this site. How do I know that it was 10,000 visitors? See, I cannot just rely on him to tell me the data, right? I want to be able to track this manually. Maybe, uh, and so at the end of the day, what I'm going to be looking at is I need to, all right, I need to look at, all right, how many visitors I've got. Let's say I paid him 500 bucks, okay, $500, divided by 10,000 visitors. That's about five cents per visitor, make sense? All right, so my cost per, my, my, my cost per visitor here, all right, is about, again, hypothetical numbers here is five cents, okay? Now, in order for me to track this, I need to have this to be my tracking link, okay? My tracking link. And so in module one, this is where all this stuff kind of becomes relevant. I mean, it's important for you to kind of watch these and, you know, go through module by one by module as I present this to you so that it makes sense on a bigger scale, right? Um, I have my custom tracking link, okay? Custom tracking link. Uh, and again, I showed you. And then these custom tracking links would point here, okay? So when I get visitors here and I can get massive amounts of visitors really, really quickly here, I can, at the end of the day, I can take a look at my tracking link and I can say, okay, this flow of traffic came from this influencer right here, all right? And I, you know, and, and this is the number of, of visitors I've got from this guy. This is how much I paid him. So therefore, here is what my cost per click or cost per visitor to this site is. See what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to replicate this site many, many times over because you can have 50 influencers sending you traffic. And so what I would do is I would simply create a tracking link, okay, for each one of those. Very, very simple setup. All right, but this way you're tracking each one of those individuals. Does that make sense? Now, my message here on this page needs to con be congruent with the, the uh, uh, you know, whatever these guys are looking for, you know? So there's gotta be a message to market match is, is, uh, is, is tip number one here for this particular strategy, okay? Tip number two, okay? Let's go to tip number two is your creative, okay? So these are a couple things to keep in mind here. With the creative, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, so my creative uh, can be an image or a video. So what I would do is when I talk to influencers, right, I would ask them, I would take a look at their, you know, their Instagram account and see which, and or maybe even talk to them and see which, uh, creative will perform better, right? So what I want to know here is, do I create, you know, do I have to create my own creative? Do I have to, you know, make the image myself or do will you do it for me? You know what I mean? If you will do it for me, does it isn't included in your price or video? Do I have to shoot a video myself or, or do you guys shoot the video uh, because you know your audiences? Ultimately, what I want to do here is since these influencers know their audience, right? This guy is operating this account here. Right? Chances are, if he's doing a good job uh, or doing what he's supposed to be doing, he knows his audience, he knows his engagement, he's, he's, he lives in that world. So his idea, right, he, his desire is to build his, inf uh, his, um, uh, his reach, right? He wants to build his reach and he wants to build his engagement. So it's his job to tell me what will his audience like better. Right? Whether it's an image, whether it's a video, if it's a video, if I can get him to, to make the video on my behalf, even if it's going to cost me a little bit more, I would probably go for that because he understands his audiences better than I would understand his audience. Does that make sense? So th this whole concept of, you know, I, I just want to get the cheap traffic is not really relevant because at the end of the day, I'm willing to pay a little bit more money to this guy or this guy, right? You get the, you get the point here. Uh, for him to create and produce a better creative because a better creative with maybe that would cost me a little bit extra, you know, a few bucks extra, but it would get me instead of, you know, uh, uh, 10,000 visitors here, again, hypothetical numbers. Maybe if I did my own video, uh, not really knowing his audience that well, maybe if I give him my creative, uh, it might get me 3,000 visitors instead of 10,000 visitors. So that extra little bit that I would pay him for him to create the video for me 
on my behalf, promoting my stuff, right? Promoting this landing page. Uh, it would be well worth uh, in return. See what I'm saying? Um, so keep that in mind, okay? Let's go ahead and, uh, and talk about uh, tip number next here, okay, which is tip number three, which is my strategy, okay? Now, here's what I want to do, okay? I want to sell, and, and this is going to be my strategy, okay? Sell the result, not product, okay? So it's very, very important, okay? When I talk to an influencer, um, I want to get a very good idea of what kind of stuff his people or his audience are into, okay? So let's say if it's, you know, let's just take a look at my niche, for example, right? People are interested in making money, uh, building business, lifestyle, cars, all that stuff, right? So if somebody is interested in that kind of stuff, right, do they really, uh, really want to, you know, hear about a traffic product? You know, do they really want to hear about some kind of a opportunity, right? Not really. These guys are into lifestyle. See what I'm saying? So understanding the result that these audience are looking for or the kind of stuff they're into, and if my product, whatever it is that I'm selling over here, okay, which this is your product, this is your, uh, this is your page, because at the end of the day, my only goal here, okay, when I reach out to these influencers is not to, 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 to necessarily get sales here, okay? I want them to be intrigued enough with my landing page so that they can get on my list, okay? I'm paying these guys for either shout out, okay, or link in a bio for them to promote my landing page. It's not about how many visitors I get as much as how many of those visitors will turn into subscribers on my list. Does that make sense? It's very, very important for everybody to understand this. You know, sales will come. If, if they can connect with whatever message is on this page, and this page, again, tip number three is your strategy, right? I'm going to sell the result that this product, okay, can deliver, okay? So this landing page, again, going back to, I think it was module number one where I talked about this. So whatever the result these guys are after, okay, I would, I would like to portray those types of messages on my landing page, okay? And this becomes a byproduct, a means to an end. Does that make sense? But really, ultimately, I'm looking for a couple things here. Okay, I'm looking for what my cost per visitor is to this page, and also what's my cost per per an opt-in. Okay, cost per uh, cost per lead. Okay, CPL. Um, and if I will, you know, I'll keep track of those metrics through my landing page here. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to create a list. I want to compile. Okay, my own directory, if you will, okay, of uh, influencers, individual influencers that I can go to that produce good results for me. Okay, not every influencer that you go to will get you the results that you desire. Okay, so um, let's do this. <clears throat> uh, let me just kind of show you uh, a more of an automated way. I guess it'll be probably be the, the simplest way to go about this. Okay, I mean manually. You would basically just go to Instagram, right? Instagram.com, and uh, and just search, you know, look for the accounts. And you know, if you if you like the account, if they have you know big you know big following or good engagement, uh, just reach out to the owner of the account, uh, and um, you know, and talk to them. Just say you know, DM him and uh, and strike a conversation, right? Say, hey, here's what I you know, can you do a shout out for me? Can I pay you to do a shout out for me? That's more of a of a of a manual process way. Uh, not uh, not something that that you know you probably would wanna uh, you know you probably be very excited about. So let me show you a more automated way that you can go about doing this. Okay, in just a second here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few websites in just a second. Okay, uh, that um, that you can take a look at. Okay, and we can take a look at them together. Okay, the first one I'm gonna go will be azia.com. Okay, oh, I think it's a wrong. There you go. And I, what I'll do is I'll list them below as well for you to check, check them out. Okay. So this, this site right here. Load them up load up another one, okay, and 
another one is shoutcart. Okay, shoutcart.com. This is actually a good one. All right, another one I'm going to show you, iFluence. iFluence.com. Okay, so uh, take a look at these here. So what I can do, one way I can go, uh, um, again, as this world is getting smaller and smaller, you know, the, the platform is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, there's, uh, it, it's getting easier and easier for us marketers, right, to tap into uh, channels of traffic like this uh, and, uh, you know, and go to like a directory or go to like an agency or go to an influence gathering place. So some of these companies, obviously, they, they exist because they take, you know, they work out a deal with influencers. So if I can go to this company, like iFluence, for example, right, <clears throat> it would be something like this. You know, I go to, I'll give you a little, um, a little diagram here, okay? Kind of eliminates a lot of the uh, heavy lifting on my part, okay? So I go to, okay, uh, maybe it's like this. I go to this company here. Okay, iFluence.com. All right, and I say, hey, I'm dealing with you guys. Okay, I need to send traffic here. Okay, what you would do is you would create a campaign. Okay, uh, and this campaign would go out through this network and they will reach out to their influencers on their network. See what I'm saying? And then this campaign would bring me traffic to my site. In this case, it would be my, my landing page. Does that make sense? So in this case, I'm dealing with a middleman here, which becomes a network or a directory of influencers. Okay? It's very, very easy. All right? I'll, I'll show you that in just a second here. Uh, and so what happens here is I'm dealing with one source, and then these guys' job is to optimize my campaign. Okay, for the most part. And then what I'll do is I'll keep track of the results I'm getting from these guys. And then I can, you know, they will give me a dashboard. Let's say when you log into their account, I'll show you in a second here. They'll give you a dashboard showing you exactly which influencers the traffic is coming from, how many, you know, how many clicks you've got, how many visitors you've got from each individual influencers. So I can utilize a middleman like a network, okay, like a directory, if you will, uh, and let these guys do heavy lifting for me and then my, my um, suggestion would be for you is if you find that this guy, let's say, produces uh, above average results, okay, or maybe you like this particular influencer that's getting you traffic and that's converting, okay, uh, what you can do is then you can bypass, okay, you can bypass uh, this network later on and I would just deal directly with that particular influencer because most of these network will be pretty transparent with you and, and they'll show you where the traffic is coming from, which influencers. Does that make sense? Okay, so take a look at this here. And again, I'll list them out you know, below in the, um, in the resource section. Uh, but uh, I've, you know, uh, iFluence here, for example, uh, this is a place where brands and influencers meet. Okay, so again, they're a directory. Okay, fast and easy, it's a win-win impactful, so they give you, uh, they give you a, uh, uh, over here, all right, you can see how many registered influencers worldwide. They got over 14,000 registered influencers. This guy's got 9,000 followers, 96,000 followers, 250,000 followers, 334,000 followers, as you can see here, right? Um, 2,000 followers. So your, your cost, okay, will depend on the number of followers or how big the influencer is, okay? I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, my idea here, my friend, is not to give you specifics, okay, click here, click here, click here. I want you to understand um, the strategy, how the strategy works, okay? This is a phenomenal strategy. It can get you traffic really, really fast. Um, I don't have to uh, necessarily work on creative. I don't have to work on building up my, you know, my pools of people. I can just tap into somebody who already has that, right, with the right offer. Make sure that you're matching your offer, um, that it matches what you're promoting. And, uh, and you can get these guys to send you the traffic. It's really, really that simple. Okay, here's another one, Shoutcard. Okay, so Shoutcard is a directory of shoutouts. Okay, so they're a directory of um, a lot of different influencers. Okay, let me expand this as well. Okay, so you can see, right? Influencer marketing by shoutout. 
Okay. Um, I'll give you a direction. I'll list a whole bunch of them. Uh, you know, in the resources section of this particular uh, of this particular uh, section of this module. Okay. But these guys, some of these uh, companies that I'm featuring here, like Shoutcart, they have uh, they give you good dashboards. Okay. So details and statistics. Um, I personally check them out. Right. So they're um, I feel confident enough for you to. Uh, for me to recommend them to you. So check it out. This one's got 3.9 million followers, okay? Uh, one shout out will cost you $280, okay? So I can go here and I can click on this and I can see their score, right? 4.6, this is based on the, uh, you know, what other people, how other people reviewed them. So it becomes like a directory, okay? When they joined uh, this directory, all that. So this one's got 2 million followers. Right, this particular account, seventy dollars. Okay, one point one million followers, fifty dollars per shout out. Okay, now what's what's a shout out? A shout out it can be uh, either an image post or it can be a video post that these guys can go out there for you, right? And they can do it for you. So two hundred seventeen thousand followers. Now what I would be looking at, okay, is I would look at, you know, here they of course they give you some some statistics. Um, some data here, best, best time to post, you know, 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but what I would do, okay, is once you create an account here, you would go and check out this account, okay, Cute Cat Kittens. So, you know, if you're into, you know, cat kind of stuff or you're selling products that has to do with cat stuff, right, then uh, it might be something you would be looking into, right? But what I would look is I would look at their engagement, okay? Shout out is good, but I would look at... Um, you know, if they make a post, if they make a video or an image post, how many people are liking it, how many people are engaging, how many people are commenting on it, okay? This one has got, you know, 550 or 65,000 followers, and one shout out is going to cost you $400, or whatever the price is, okay? What was the price on this one? Okay, success rate 100%, but the score though, all right, is 3.12. See what I'm saying? So this... I would be a little iffy about, see what I'm saying? Uh, this one is $3,000. So again, you get what you pay for, okay? Do your own research, my friend. I don't want to point out any one of these individuals, depending on which product you know, you're promoting, which industry you're promoting, but here's what you can do, okay? You can register for free, doesn't cost you anything, right? Uh, just browse around, okay? Do not spend a lot of money. What you want to do, okay, there's a lot of influencers. Okay, the, the, the bigger this space grows, the bigger the platform grows, Instagram will, you know, reach a billion users. And depending when you, when you watch this or when you pick this product up, it could be well over a billion users, all right? Um, and it's ever growing, right? It's part of Facebook. Um, so needless to say, this is worldwide, right? What you can do is you can be in any country as long as there is an Instagram uh, availability in that country, and you can find influencers to tap into, okay? Um, and so check them out. Okay, my goal is to utilize a network, a directory. This way you can, uh, you know, you, you, can, you can shotgun your approach, right? You can shotgun your strategy and you can have 50 of these influencers, for example, uh, depending on your budget, of course, but you can request, right, shout outs from, let's say, 10 of them, all right, at the, at, at the same time. Use individual tracking link for each one of them, right, that you request. Take a look at how many visitors you got from each one of them versus how many opt-ins you got from each one of them. Track how much it's costing you to get a, a visitor and also how much you're paying to acquire a lead from that particular shout out, okay? Uh, and then what you would do is you would create your own uh, directory, uh, work out a relationship, right? Strike a relationship with these influencers personally and say, hey, if I get great results from you, um, I'll be buying more, you know, shout outs from you, right? So let's do business. And so these guys are growing. They're focusing on growing their reach and expanding their accounts and making them bigger. And so as they're growing and if they do good enough job for you and if you like the results, you can always come back to them over and over again, right? And you can get, you, you can tap into the traffic. But you building out this pool of, you know, vetted influencers that you can come back to over and over again at any time, it's like you digging your own well of water to drink out of, right? Uh, in this particular tr uh, uh, channel of traffic. Um, they're interested in working with you and helping you get the result that you want because if you get what you want, chances are you'll probably come back to them and pay the money. Now, here's a little secret for you. You want to hear a little secret? Come closer. 
Check it out. A lot of these influencers on Instagram, their money is coming from shout outs from people like myself. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these guys, they're not necessarily marketers. A lot of these guys, they build large following, right, on their accounts. A lot of people follow them. A lot of people paying attention to what they're saying, but they're not marketers, right? So it's in their best interest to work with me and get me the results that I want so that I can come back and do more business with them. See what I'm saying? So work with them, talk to them, say, hey, I want to work with you long term. What do you need from me? Let's work it out, right? Negotiate with them. Um, I would negotiate with every one of them you talk to, right? Um, go through the networks, check it out. I'm going to you know, list some links in the uh, uh, resources section, including Tim, uh, Tim's contact, all right? Uh, talk to them, and uh, that's your, you know, that's how you work with Instagram influencers. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.